I, Ritu Kumawat, working as assistant professor in Biyani Group of Colleges, welcome you on the behalf of Guru KPO. Today, I am here to present about how we run servlet program on the Tomcat server. So, for this purpose, we have to follow some steps. First of all, we will install Java in our PC or laptop, whatever you have. After installing Java, you have to install Apache Software Foundation, means Tomcat server. Tomcat server is an open source web server developed by Apache Software Foundation. And remember one thing, if Java is not installed in your PC and you are going to install Tomcat, then it will give an error like it will ask for JVM. So, first of all install Java and after that install Tomcat in your PC. After installing Java and Apache Software Foundation, the two folders will be created in the same drive, one for Java and one for Tomcat server. After that, you have to set the path and class path, path for the Java and class path for the Tomcat server. For this purpose, you have to move the my computer and right click there and then go to properties and then click on advanced and then click on environment variables. There a window will be created and you have to uh, provide variable name and variable value there, there. So, for variable name, you have to write PATH path and for variable value, you will move to the Java folder and then JDK bin, copy the path and paste in the variable value. Now semicolon and then, then click on OK. Now after that click on new button and you have to provide the value name for the Tomcat server. So write class path C L A double S P A T H there and for the variable value you have to move the Apache Software Foundation folder and in this folder you have to move Tomcat then lib and servlet API then write dot jar in the address bar and then copy the path and then paste this path in the variable value. Now you have to create the HTML file. The next step you have to create your own folder in the Apache Software Foundation folder. For this purpose you have to move Apache Software Foundation folder in this Tomcat 6.0 or whatever uh, version is installed in your computer accordingly. Then web apps, in this web apps folder you will create your own folder. Suppose I am I have given the name my folder here and then in this my folder you will create a folder with name web.inf and in this folder all the HTML files will be saved here and then move uh, in this web inf folder you will create two folder one is classes and second is lib and one more file will be paste here will be created here web.xml file now let us know what is web.xml file servlet uh, should be registered with the servlet container or web server for this purpose you have to make entries of your java file, java file in this web.xml file now how we create this web.xml file to the tab web app and in this tab in this tag two tags will be created first is servlet and second is servlet mapping so in servlet servlet name you have to provide the servlet name for example i have given my servlet here and then close the servlet name and second is servlet class the java class file name will be given here whatever class file name you have given so provide here java class name and then close the servlet class now servlet mapping again you have to provide the servlet name here which is my servlet and then url pattern it means you will provide here uh, your java class file name and this is called path separator and then close this tag web app now save this file with the web.xml and uh, save in the webinf folder after this you have to create a html file after creating the html file you have to save this html file in the my folder and then after creating this you have to create the java file java file will be saved in the web inf classes folder now java file is also created now you have to compile the java file so you will give the command java c file name dot java and after compilation Remember one thing, if uh, after one time compilation, if you make any change to that Java file, so you have to compile it again and again. Whenever you will make change, you have to compile it accordingly. 
and after that our HTML file is also created and Java file is also created. File is created and Java file is created. Now we will start the Tomcat server and we will open the web browser for run this servlet program. So you will open web browser and give the URL like HTTP localhost 8080 and then your folder name which is my folder and your HTML file name for example you have given hello.html now in this HTML file you will uh, when you will click on the submit button it will move to the Java file that was all about how to run servlet program in Tomcat server thank you so much for more details and videos you can log on to www.gurukpo.com